Flowers are composed of four whorls of structures, some of which are modified leaves. The outermost whorl is known as the calyx and is composed of modified leaves known as sepals. In most flowers, these are green and may offer protection to the flower while it is in the bud stage. Inside the calyx is a whorl known as the corolla, composed of modified leaves known as petals. These are often big and brightly colored to attract animal pollinators. Inside the whorl of petals is the androecium, a whorl of male structures known as stamens. A stamen consists of the anther, which contains the microsporangia that produce the pollen, on a stalk known as the filament. Inside the anther, spore mother cells undergo meiosis, producing two pollen grains with two nuclei each. They are binuclear. The innermost whorl in a flower is the gynecium, which consists of one or more carpels. A carpel consists of a stigma, the exposed receptive area where pollen grains land, the long style, through which pollen tubes grow to reach the ovary. The ovary consists of diploid sporophyte tissue around the ovule. This diploid sporophyte tissue will typically form the fruit. The ovule consists of the protective seed coat with a pore, the micropyle, through which pollen tubes will grow so that the sperm in the pollen tubes can fertilize the egg. Inside the ovule, the megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis to produce seven cells with eight nuclei. This is the female gametophyte, which includes the egg. 